President Edgar Lungu is concerned morals and ethics are declining in Zambia. President Lungu has observed that his high prevalence of gender-based violence, child marriages, teenage pregnancies, alcohol and substance abuse, and social media abuse. Addressing Parliament on Friday, the 12th of February, 2021, on progress made in the application of national values and principles, President Lungu particularly regretted violence against women between ages of 15 and older, which currently stands at 45.9%, is way too high. In the last four years, over 85,000 cases of gender-based violence were reported across the country. For development alone, the country recorded over 8,000 cases in the last four years. The increase in reported cases of gender-based violence and defilement, for me, is a clear indication that our sensitization programs and campaigns are bearing fruit. President Lungu is also concerned about the rate of suicide in the country. Mental diseases can affect anybody, and that is why families, friends, and the public in general need to help our people ravaged by challenges such as depression. In Zambia, suicide rates are now reported to be at 17.5 per 100,000 males and 6.2 among women. This needs to be stemmed before the number goes up. The president is however happy the call for patriotism to the country is bearing fruit. Equally encouraging is the fact that more of our people are consuming these products. This is patriotism. It is also a clear indication that our proudly Zambian campaign has taken root. I am happy to report that 33 companies have so far been certified to use the official proudly Zambian logo, covering over 500 product lines. On the principle of democracy and constitutionalism, the head of state has committed to ensuring law and order is maintained before, during and after this year's general elections. My government will ensure that law and order prevails before, during and after the elections. Let me repeat and stress that my government will guarantee and ensure that law and order prevail before, during, and after the elections this year. That's the only assurance I can make. Beyond that, I'll be speculating, but I know that we will maintain law and order. And the Republican president has also outlined what government has been doing to apply the principles of human dignity, equity, social justice, equality, and non-discrimination. In the health sector, my government has constructed over 500 health facilities since 2017. We have also recruited over 23,000 health workers. To ensure efficiency in the supply of drugs and medical supplies, we have established five regional medical storage and distribution hubs. Mr. Speaker, as a result of these efforts, more and more of our mothers are now giving birth in health facilities supported by qualified personnel. Meanwhile, President Lungu has told the House, as of December 2020, over 30 government services were accessed at the touch of a button. Government will not tolerate any misuse of public resources. And to demonstrate government's commitment to prudent management of public resources, the implementation of the Public Finance Management Act No. 1 of 2018 is in full force. Mr. Speaker, and accordingly, prescribed action is being taken systematically against officers who do not observe the provisions of this act. The president ended his address to the House by encouraging Zambians to take the opportunity which the August 12th general elections offers in demonstrating the impact of national values and principles on their country's democracy. Lazarus Sichula, Movie TV News.